Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Today we'll tell you all about Proxima Centauri b, the closest exoplanet to Earth, and why scientists think life could be possible on it. So without further ado, let's get started. The habitable zones around stars are very interesting to astronomers because that's where life is most likely to start. It's not a wonder that astronomers are very interested in Proxima, the name of the exoplanet that is closest to Earth. Proxima Centauri is the star closest to our Sun. It has a planet about the size of Earth orbiting it. It's still not known if there is life on Proxima Centauri b. At this point, no signs of life have been found on the planet, and we don't know much about its surface or atmosphere. Because of this, it's hard to say what kind of life might exist on Proxima Centauri b in the future. In order for life to exist, however, we think that any life that might be on the planet would have to be able to survive the harsh conditions on the surface, which could include high levels of radiation from the nearby star and possibly very high or low temperatures. It has been thought that the exoplanet Proxima Centauri b might have life on it since it was found in 2016. This strange planet outside of Earth circles Proxima Centauri, the star closest to the Sun. The planet is right in the middle of its star's habitable zone, which means that liquid water and maybe even life could live there. Because it has about the same mass as Earth, experts think that Proxima b could have liquid water and be a rocky, terrestrial planet like Earth. Researchers used computer models similar to those used to study climate change on Earth and found that Proxima Centauri b may be able to hold huge amounts of liquid water on its surface in a number of situations. This could make it a better place for living things to survive. A planetary scientist at NASA's Goddard Institute for Space Studies in New York City named Anthony Del Genio said, The main message from our simulations is that there's a good chance that the planet would be habitable. The red dwarf star Proxima Centauri is very small and cold. It is about 4.2 light years away from the Sun. Even though it is close, scientists don't know much about the planet that orbits Proxima Centauri. All they know is that it has at least 1.3 times the mass of Earth and goes around its parent star every 11 days. Del Genio and his colleagues had to make some reasonable assumptions about the planet Proxima Centauri in order to move forward with their study. For example, they had to believe that it had an atmosphere and an ocean on its surface. Proxima Centauri b orbits in the habitable zone of its star, which means it gets just the right amount of light to keep its surface above the temperature at which water freezes. A sister site to Live Science called Space.com found that this area is pretty close to the star. It's likely that gravity forces have locked the planet in place at high tide, in the same way that the moon faces its parent star from the same side. So is Proxima Centauri b. Previous models, published in the journal Astronomy and Astrophysics in 2016, looked at a possible atmosphere on Proxima Centauri b. They said that the exoplanet's hemisphere facing the star might get very hot from the intense light, while its ocean-facing space would freeze over. There may only be a circle of warm water on Proxima Centauri b, which Del Genio's team calls Eyeball Earth. But the new models were more detailed than the old ones. They included a moving, swirling ocean that could move heat from one side of the exoplanet to the other very quickly. The researchers found that the movement of the ocean and atmosphere affected each other. As Del Genio told Live Science, there's a band of liquid water that's sustained around the equatorial region, even though the night side never sees any starlight. There was an open ocean on Proxima Centauri for most of the models that looked at its surface. The larger the fraction of the planet with liquid water, the better the odds that if there's life there, we can find evidence of that life with future telescopes," he stated. The question of whether or not red dwarfs are habitable is controversial and involves many problems. Proxima Centauri b's UV radiation is redder than XUV light. This means it may mix with organic matter less and make less ozone. On the other hand, star activity can remove ozone layers and expose people to dangerous UV rays. It might spend some of its journey outside of the habitable zone, depending on how eccentric it is. Oxygen and carbon monoxide amounts in Proxima Centauri b's atmosphere may be too high to be safe. On the other hand, high oxygen levels may help more complex species appear. If there are oceans, tides may flood and dry out coastal areas, starting chemical reactions that are good for life. 
These reactions help biological rhythms like the day-night cycle develop, which would not happen on a tidally locked planet without a day-night cycle. Tidal forces also mix the oceans and move nutrients around, and they cause periodic growths of marine organisms like red tides on Earth. Scientists used to think that this world, which is in the habitable zone of its star, had a mass of at least 1.3 Earth masses. The new measurement suggests that Proxima b may be a lot more like Earth, at least in terms of size, than experts thought before. One of the most interesting planets found in the solar neighborhood is Proxima b. A lot of people think it's almost impossible to live on Proxima b. People think that any life that decides to live on Proxima will have a hard time. It is a red dwarf star, which means it has only a tenth of the mass of the Sun. Red dwarf stars have nuclear fusion cores that are much closer to their surfaces because they are so small. This makes their surfaces much less smooth than those of stars like the Sun, and the extra roughness makes magnetic fields even stronger. Because of this, those strong magnetic fields can send huge amounts of high-energy radiation and particles into the system around them. If you're far enough away from the star, this shouldn't be a big deal. But stars like Proxima Centauri aren't nearly as bright as the Sun, so the areas where life could exist are much closer. It's close enough that habitable might be too kind of a word. Astronomers thought that life on Proxima would be hard, but they didn't know for sure because they had to use readings from other stars like Proxima Centauri to figure it out. High-resolution pictures of Proxima Centauri's magnetic field were used in a recent study to make a model of its solar wind. With more information, they found that things are just as bad as we thought they would be. Proxima gets about 1,000 times more energy from the sun's wind than Earth does. Also, red dwarfs like Proxima Centauri live much longer than the sun, up to many times as long as the universe is thought to be. This gives plenty of time for life to form. Proxima Centauri gives off light that isn't good for oxygen-generating photosynthesis, but is good for anoxygenic photosynthesis. However, it's not clear how life based on anoxygenic photosynthesis could be found. Based on photosynthesis, one study from 2017 says that the productivity of a Proxima Centauri b environment might be about 20% of Earth's. This would make it very hard for the world to even hold an atmosphere, let alone water. This doesn't mean that there can't be life on other planets, but it does mean that any life that does move there will have to deal with a lot more problems than we do. That's it for today guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like and comment down your thoughts on this, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching this video.